Question 6. This is from, from 1 chapter 10 about perimeter and the area. So in this case, we are required to find the area. We need to know the height. All right. We know that the base here is 13, same as this slanted line. So we can draw a triangle over here. Let's say we cut this off, a triangle. We know that this is 13. And the base here will be 5 because the whole thing is 13. If this is 8, then this part will be 5. So what is the height? To find the height, we use the hypotenuse minus the 5 squared. By square root this answer, you will get 12. We know that the height is 12. So to find trapezium, the formula is the base 1 plus base 2 times the height and divide by 2. So base 1 will be the below base, which is 13, plus the base on the top 8 times the height, which is 12. So in this case, if we 13 plus 8 will get 21 times 12 and divide 2, you will get 126 cm squared. So the answer is A. Next, question 7. Which of the following shows a number sequence? As we can see for question 7 over here, we need to determine all the number sequence one by one. 1 to 4 is plus 3, but then go to 6 is plus 2, and then go to 11 is plus 5. Do you see a number sequence? No. For B, 1 to 10 to 100 to 1000. So all this is by time step. Time step. So we can see a sequence, but then we can't make any conclusion yet. For C, 2 to 4 to 12 to 15. This is by times 2. 4 to 12 is times 3. 12 to 15 is, um, you know, plus 3, is it? From times become plus. So it's not possible for C. All right. And then D, 5 to 15 to 35 to 55. So 5 to 15 is times 3. 15 to 35 is plus 20. You can't times to get 35. So what you do here is impossible. So the answer is only B. It's a number sequence. Eight. Question 8. In the diagram 7, this diagram, it shows a vertices of a regular polygon. We know that this polygon, each side has 140 degrees. So now we are required to state the sum of interior angle. We do not know how many sides do this have. So first, we are required to find the side. So to find the side, we know that to find each side angle is n minus 2 times 180 dy n. And you will get the one side angle of interior. All right. So now we are required to find the n. So let's times it on the above 180n and then 2 times 180 it will give you 360 and the n here bring to the opposite it will be 140n. So 180n minus 140n bring all the unknown one side and then bring the value from negative to positive to other side. So 40n equal to 360 and will be 360 divide 40 you will get 9 side. So this regular polygon has 9 sides. So you are required to state the sum of interior, you use 9, times each interior, which is 140, you will get 1260 degree. So the answer is B. Alright? For question 9, you are required to find the volume of this rectangular cardboard. This rectangular cardboard is used to form an open cylinder. So this cardboard is then rolled to form a cylinder. Calculate the volume. So let's say this is fold this way and you will form this cylinder with the height of 18 cm and the radius of unknown. So now first, what you need to do is to find the radius. You know the circumference, if we form down there with a circle, we know that the circumference will be 44 cm. So the formula of circumference is 2 pi r. So equal to 44, pi r will be equal to 22, r is equal to 22 over pi. So in this case, we know that the r is 22 over pi. We are required to find cylinder. 
The formula of cylinder volume is pi r square h. So pi times your r, which is 22, over pi, and then square it, and then times your height, 18. So in this case, we know that 22 square will give you an answer of 484. And the pi down here will be a square times with 18. So pi and pi cut away, you will get 484 over pi times 18. So in this case, 484 times 18 dividing by pi will give you the answer of 2773.12. So in this case, the closer value is D. So the answer is 2772. 10. Given the gradient and the y-intercept is negative 3, so gradient is negative 3, y-intercept is mean C, which is 6. Find the coordinate of the point of intersection of the straight line. This is a straight line, so we let's make it into a straight line with this equation, y equal to mx plus c, and we know that m is negative 3x and the c is 6. And this straight line, let's say this straight line is with this equation, it intersect the x-axis. So if intersect the x-axis, it means x-intercept. So x-intercept means y equal to 0. So let's put y equal to 0. Let's find out what's x. So negative thing to here, it will become positive 3x plus equal to 6. x will then equal to 6 dy3, which is 2. So the formula, the, the coordinate, not formula, x is 2, y is 0. So the answer is D over here.